Hey friends, this is Nick and I call my channel DZ Performance and I really appreciate you tuning in. The project that I got to share with you this week is I've got a 489 big block Chevy. This motor I put together for a friend from Chicago that was looking for a motor that would work well in his 1970 Chevelle with highway gears, approximately 308 gears with a tight stall converter 350 turbo. So it's high torque. I wanted to run on 89 octane pump gas. I have a Brodex low profile dual plane intake on it uh, because he does not run a cow hood. A beautiful car, but I don't usually have how to videos on, on my channel, but I do spend about four minutes in this video showing you some of the procedures I did here in the shop. I deshrouded the cylinder block. Uh, check for valve piston clearance, uh, oil clearance on the crankshaft, just a few little things. So there's four minutes there in the middle that you may want to watch or you may want to fast forward to the dyno shop. But let me share some of this with you and I'll be back to go over the full specs and delivery of this motor.
almost identical repeat. Best ever torque. That's a good Okay, I'm back from dyno testing and I also have delivered the uh, 489 to Chicago. It's with its uh, new home in Chicago, Illinois. So let me turn the camera around. I'll give you the cam specs, the motor specs, and the dyno sheet. Okay, the 489 cubic inch motor that we're uh, testing in this video, it is a 1970s. 454 block that's bored 30 over. It does not have a windage tray. It's a two bolt main. It is a factory oil pan. It's a four and a quarter stroke scat 9000 crank. It has 6.135 rods. That's the factory length rods. They're uh, the shorter rods, you know, help create a lot of low end torque. They pull on the port hard. They're not necessarily a high RPM setup when you do it that way, but it works It works nicely for a high torque motor. The pistons are just a flat top Keith Black that is a hyper-eutectic piston with a 3cc dish in them for valve relief. So the cylinder heads that I used on that project was a 236 peanut port. Now on those heads, on the good ports... On the intake good ports, the long ports that flow towards the center, uh, the four intake ports that are known as the good ports, I put two 19 valves in those, 2.19, and it's got a pocket port bowl blend on uh, all, the, uh, all the ports in the cylinder head. The bad ports, the ones that are flowing away from the, the center of the cylinder head, the short ports as they're called also, those I had installed uh, 2.25, two and a quarter inch valves. They're slightly larger on the bad ports to try to help pick up the flow. The exhaust is a 188. And once again, they're peanut ports. If you noticed, in, and I'm going to drop a picture at the end of the video, I used a Brodex intake, a low-rise intake. They were designed for cars with, with flat hoods or with limitations in clearance. That was one of the situations I was working with on this project is my friend that I built this project for. He had a beautiful car that had a flat hood. It was a 70 Chevelle. He was running a uh, transmission with a nearly stock stall converter and highway gear. So we had to create a lot of torque and I just wanted to do a motor that would run on 87 octane. We actually dyno tested it on 89 octane. So jump into the cam specs for you. The duration at 50 thousandths on the intake is a 227 on the exhaust measured at 50 thousandths valve lift is a 241. The low separation is a 107, which usually gives you a pretty rough idle, you know, a really potato, potato, you know, lope, but not when the cam is this small in this big of a motor. It had just a, a nice rumble to it is, is basically all the, all the camshaft sounded like. And th this is another thing that might confuse you a little bit, but if you if you ever want to drop a comment and ask a question, if I've went over something too fast, I'm I'm happy to straighten things out uh, in the comment section of the video. The on the intake on the bad ports, I put a 1.8 rocker by Scorpion roller rocker, you know, to increase some flow. The good ports, I ran a 1.75 rocker. That is a ratio of uh, of lift compares, compared to the lift at the cam. The exhaust was a 1.7. 1.7 is the factory ratio of lift. So that is the cam specs. Yeah, I, I did not review with you the uh, maximum lift. The maximum lift on the intake is a 547 on the intake and a 530 on the exhaust. So it's an off-the-shelf cam 
but I modified it the way I wanted with mixing up the uh, the rocker ratio. Let's move on to the dyno sheet. What we achieved on torque on this project is on this this pull here, it did a 573, but we had a run that did a 579. But something that's really noteworthy is we, I pulled this thing clear down to, or I asked the, the dyno operator to pull it down to 2,800 RPMs, and it did 531 foot-pounds of torque at 2,800 RPMs. And then it peaked at 32, but it carried the torque so far. Uh, 4,500, it's, it's still making... 561 I, this motor was not something i was looking for a lot of horsepower i was going to be totally happy and <coughs> had uh, promised the customer around 500 horse but we got 511 and this was my dyno shop out in the middle of kansas and it's a pretty conservative dyno you'll get one or two percent difference between what you might call a happy dyno or a dyno that uh that reads a little lower. This one's real middle of the road. So I, I'm really excited about these numbers. And something I did not mention when I was giving you the specs, this motor's only got 8.6 to 1 compression. So it, it really won't want much octane or won't need much octane at all to make it operate. The carburetor that I used was a 770 Brawler brand new out of the box. The distributor was a Street Fire HEI distributor. So, you know, we were running on 89 octane. We had a low rise intake. I kept the carburetor small for street use. You know, there, those are several things that if we would went a thousand CFM carburetor and a taller intake and more compression, you know, you could tack 50 horses right away onto this. Uh, the the small peanut ports that I used, but they're they are ported peanut ports. They were excellent for that mid range torque and where this car is going to need it running a a tight converter and a highway gear. At the end of the video, uh, I'll I'll post a picture of the guy's car. It was really cool, but um, you know, and I I I really thank Charles for letting me uh, build him that motor. Um, you know, without people out there buying motors from me and you guys watching my channel, I wouldn't be able to do this fun stuff. But this is Nick. I really appreciate you watching. Thank you.